All right, we will just peel this stencil back here. What? What's this? Ah, sh Hey everybody, it's Bill Duran here and welcome to the shop. I've been putting together this guy right here, the lovely Dracogen STV-1 space gun from my Kickstarter. This is a test piece that I'm putting together and documenting the whole process for a painting guide for the gun. I got to this part here where I was doing the stencils on the gun and I figured, hey, this would make a really fantastic video. So that's exactly what I've done. So if you, like me, would like to add that nice touch of detail to your props, follow along and I'll show you how to add some really cool stencil details to your prop. First, you need to design your stencils. I like to take a picture of the surfaces that I will be painting and put a ruler right in that photo. Then that photo gets dropped into a vector drawing program like Inkscape, which is totally free by the way, or Illustrator or Corel Draw, whichever one you like. Then you just draw and design your vectors right on top of the photo after it has been scaled appropriately, thanks to that ruler that you took a picture of. With your vector designs all drawn out, you have some options here. If you have your own vinyl cutter, then you can just have the machine cut out your stencils from some low-tack transparent stencil vinyl, like I did. If you do not have your own vinyl cutter, then you can go have someone else do it for you. There are places like Kinko's that'll do it for you, just bear in mind. They usually have a dollar limit that you must reach, something like 25 bucks. So maybe go there when you have a whole bunch of things that you need to have cut out. Also let them know that the vinyl is for a stencil and that they should weed out the positive pieces and leave behind most of the material. If you cut your own vinyl like I did, then you have to go in and weed that stuff out yourself. If you want to go an even cheaper route, that exists and I've done this for many props in the past. First, print out your vector designs from a normal inkjet printer, clean off a nice flat surface and then lay down some masking tape. And then tape that design piece over your masking tape. Then with a very sharp knife, go over and carefully cut out your design through the paper into the tape below. Weed out the positive spaces on the tape and voila, you've made yourself your very own stencil. Before you put the stencil on the piece, make sure that the paint on there is already dry. Follow the instructions on the can of paint that you used to make sure that it's totally dry because things like enamels can take up to a week to dry. If you don't let it dry, then when you peel your stencil material off, like I did in this video right here, it will pull the paint in the layer below it right off, just like that. I just, I did that for you guys. Just totally not an accident. Anyway, with your nice dried painted surfaces, you can then transfer your vinyl or your masking tape to the surface that you're going to paint. Just make sure you square it up and get it in there nice and straight. And then gently but firmly apply the sticky surface to your piece. Once everything has been laid down, you can then apply your paint. Now you could, if you want to, go and spray it with a spray paint can or with an airbrush. Uh, just make sure that you put some extra masking tape around the whole thing so that you don't get any overspray on any other parts of the piece. If you want to just brush some paint on like I did, just get whatever favorite paint you had and a brush and just dab it right in there. Make sure that you get it into all of the crevices and creases on the edges of your stencil. And to get a nice even finish, you might consider doing things like dabbing your paint or putting a couple layers on in different directions so that you don't leave too many brush marks. After that, just let your paint dry and then very carefully peel that stencil right off and you should be left with a very nice looking decal like this. With it all dry, then you'll probably want to go over the whole thing with a layer of clear paint to lock it in and make sure it doesn't get chipped off later on. And then like this guy, you can give it some weathering and make it look all nice and beat up. Just like that, you've got yourself some fancy pants new stencils for your prop work. Hopefully you guys have learned a thing or two. If you have some comments or questions, let me know down below or you can bug me on Twitter 
twitter.com slash chinbeard or on Facebook, facebook.com slash punished props. That's all I've got for you guys today, but I'll be around later this week to bring you guys some more good stuff. So subscribe and stick around. Oh yeah.